it was speaking a- of rosters, <laughs> let's oh. talk fantasy football. Ah, right. Yeah, I, I, how you like your team? <clears throat> you know, uh, I like it. I like it not as much as I liked it when I draft, but I think everybody has that. Like, you know, the right after the draft, you think you have the best team in the league. Uh, but I don't think I'm that good. I think I'll be uh, above average. Uh, there are some weak points, but uh, you know, what are you gonna do? I can't change it. What about you? I, you know, you like your team. I, I feel like I like it, and I want to love it. Well, I, I mean, it's hard to love it. I mean, we have we've only seen the Packers Bears game. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's hard to love in general. Especially in this day and age. Yeah, it's. I mean, social media. You put yourself out there. You put your heart out there. Yeah, it, it can get broken. Yeah, so don't don't get it too attached to anything. Is what you're saying. I try not to. Which is good in your case because tonight the Bears just sucked and you you know you don't really care because you don't love anything. I don't. And you never will. No. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and I didn't. That's why I didn't draft any Bears players too because I don't. Mm. Like some people are like, I need the Bears players on my and, team. And I see you're throwing shade at me for uh, drafting David Montgomery, and I see that, and uh, you know, that's easy to see right now. I'm right here. Well, I didn't want it to be a direct attack. It was indirect. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty direct. I mean, but uh, what are you going to do? Uh, he should have had a better game. Uh, coaches suck. Mitch Brissy sucks. Everything sucks. My birthday's ruined. My birthday month is ruined. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the b- bad thing about having your birthday in September is the Bears are probably going to ruin it. Yeah, I really thought it'd be different this year. Nope. Well, I love that Matt, uh, that uh, Mitt, uh, Matt Nagy came out and he's like, that was terrible. They sucked. I should have been a better coach. And it's like, it's too little, too late guy. Yeah, but it, he did say something that I found interesting. Uh, and I, you know, it makes sense that last year they started 0-1 and they lost the first game to the Packers, albeit it was at Green Bay and not at Chicago, but... They ended up twelve and four, so you know they got a harder schedule this year. But I can definitely uh, see some pushback. The offense isn't that bad. There's no way like they just uh, got outplayed totally. But I don't think that'll happen again. Well, and a friend of mine, Mike. Uh, don't say names. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, uh, Mike. <laughs> I won't say last names, but it starts with Mary. And ends with, okay, Mike Mary. It ends with a chick. I don't know who this could be. I don't know. Um, he said that's why you have your starters play in a few preseason games. Ah, classic Mike. Because he thinks he knows better than the head coach of the Chicago Bears. Well, I'll tell you this: sometimes the ideas he tells me are pretty good, and I think probably yeah. that should go up the go up the chain, go up the ladder to the top. Sometimes I think when you live in uh, California for too long, you just think you're better than everyone else and that your ideas mean more. <clears throat> but, you know, I don't know. I've never lived there. Well, he did buy a domain name called LACoolGuy.com. Mm. Is that for him or is that for somebody else? I I think the intention is that it is for him. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I uh, LACoolGuy.com or .org? Let me double check. I think it's dot com. It is dot com. That's big. Oh, it's uh, it's in the progress, huh? Yeah, work in progress. Check back soon to see what the little man made. <laughs> Can't wait for that. That'll have to be an update when that website's done. Oh, definitely. I definitely want to have him on the podcast to talk about his website. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna have to. You know, he knows more than anyone about football so he should be the one on the podcast you know (laughs) well i mean me and you are the the core of this podcast but he is definitely our nfl correspondent yeah he's we're we're like two kings and he's like a jester that comes and like entertains us with his uh takes he does his funny dance he's a dancer yeah so that'll be cool but I don't know. I think for the league, if I if I'll be honest, here's my top two. I'll, I'll go top three. 
Top three what? Top three teams. I see this. Oh, here. okay. Uh, well, I guess I got top four because that's going to be the last four. Right? Have you have you looked at all the teams? You know who's got who? I was looking around a little bit. Okay. I uh, kind of keep it focused on me, but uh, go, go for it. Well, and part of this just has to do with previous years of the league. Okay. And, seeing, and because I don't know, like, probably more than half of the players, I'm just going to go off their names and let you know if I like them or not. That's that. That's not a bad way to go. Okay, cool. Because I'll tell you, usually the better team names make it further. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, like, last, yeah. last team year... Team 7, I don't think they're going to do good. No, it's... It already... I mean... John, he's had some okay years, but just these team names, I think those are what hold are hold what hold him back. Yeah, I mean, you got to have a. It, it shows how confident you are when you pick your name. I mean, when you go by your last name or by the you know the number team you are in order, you don't have any confidence. You know, so what's the point of even playing the game? Don't play the game if you don't think you can win. I couldn't agree more. And I, what I also think is that when people make like references to a movie, mm, it's, okay, it's not good. It's not s- sports. Yeah. Do they know what sports is? That's that's what I don't know. I mean, they might just be the movie fi- movie people, you know. Right. If sports sports isn't movie. No. If. If you're watching a sport, it's it's not like a movie. And if if you watch a movie, it's not a sport. So you, if you're conflating the two, you're already at a disadvantage. But sometimes there are sport movies, which can be confusing. Mm. Rookie of the Year, Little Giants. Uh, Space Jam. Those are Space Jam. Right. Another another good one. I guess I would give a, more of a benefit to that if it was a space related reference, but it is definitely, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, sports related reference, uh, sport movie related reference. But now, yeah, that would that would definitely make a lot more sense, right? Than um, like a uh, Marvel character movie, or uh, like a scary movie. Yeah, scary movies have nothing to do with sports. It's when I, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Right, like they run, but it's not athletic. They usually fall down. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, I agree 100%. Yeah, the, so I, I am dying to hear the list of the top four. <clears throat> top four. I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. Top Number four, I'm going to be modest and put myself number four, Jeff Epstein's guard. Uh-huh. Are we, are we talking team names or are we talking uh, like the strength of the team, like how good they are? I would go both. Okay, gotcha. And part of it is, uh, in in previous years, seeing the the moves these people make later in the season. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Who's really uh, keeping an eye on the waiver wire? Right. Gotcha. So I put put myself number four. Modest as all, get out. I have to be. Number three, I got to go Lee Harvey Oswald. Was CIA Eric Guzman? He's he's deceptive. Cause oh, now that's Rick. Okay, I'm playing him uh, this weekend. Right. He's deceptive because you think he's not paying attention, but then all of a sudden, boom! Here he comes, knowledge out of nowhere, <coughs> making a move. Yeah, those are always the ones to look out for. The ones that yeah, you you don't think will be a, a threat. Right. Until they're got you by the neck. Number two, because he usually does pretty well. Sexy boob pictures, Tyler. And this is Tyler. Okay. Yeah, I don't know Tyler. Uh, Pretty okay name. Not really to do with sports, but I guess neither is any of the ones that have been said so far. So that's okay. Does have a scary avatar. Yes, um, but he, he uses it every year, so at least he's consistent. He has Jordan Howard. That's a kind of a not good thing. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not too high on this, uh, Tyler, but I want to hear this number one. I'm dying to hear. Can I have a guess? Yes. Mm, okay. I don't like uh, you did him. You don't like team na- or last names. You don't like team numbers. You don't like scary movies. That could only leave Bort Sampson. Um, good guess. Wrong guess, though. Ooh. One, because I don't know this person at all. Don't even know no. who he knows to be in the league. Yeah. I mean, he might not know anybody. He, like, snuck his way in. That is a good guess. Um, I didn't like that he came out so aggressively in the ESPN chat. <clears throat> Uh, was this, which, what did he say? I don't, I kind of, you know, I'm not part of the in crowd. <clears throat> so I kind of, you know, I don't, I looked the other way on that, but I'm interested to hear what he said. He said something uh, along I the need lines to know. of like, we need one more or else the draft won't start. And I wanted to say, take it easy, at, you know, as in 11 players. I, what is he? What I was think he it was before about? the draft started and we weren't sure if there, who our 10th person was going to be. Other than me? I think it was when we were on the fence about who the 10th was going to be. If it was going to be you, we were trying to wait for some other bozo. Yeah, this is ridiculous. Now I'm getting angry. And that's why I, the board Samson can't be number one. And the, that leaves only one team, and that's Oakland Sucks. Ah, <laughs> hey, that's me. And I know you're on the show, and I know that seems like I'm sucking up to you, but it's not. Hey, hey I'm not going to tell you to stop when I like it so much. <laughs> I, well, and I'm not because one aggressive name, good name. Yeah, I mean, you know, and I got some flack in the chat. chat. Uh, I did see that before I closed that out. Someone said uh, I was talking down to the 708, but hey, listen, I live 708. I was born, raised, Payless Hills, 708. Uh, I don't want to say the rest of the, my old home phone number because I think my mom still uses it, but. I had a 708 phone number. So, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I can say it. It's kind of like, you know, you hurt the ones you love. Well, and, you know, being as most of this group is from Oaklawn, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. fun. It's just yeah. fun. It's, I, I was trying to get a rise out of them. I wasn't it's, trying to hurt anybody. It's just busting each other's chops. It's just what guys do when they play fantasy football. And if you can't, yeah. if you can't laugh at yourself in your hometown, you, know, <laughs> you can't, you got to lighten up. Yeah, you can't take things so seriously, especially when you're playing fantasy football. This isn't real football. This is fantasy. Come on. People just... They don't know. They can't tell the difference. I think it's all the drugs people are on nowadays. They're all hopped up mescaline, uh, Addy, uh, Molly, HPV. Uh, yeah. HTC. HLC. All of it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. It, they, uh, they, they don't know what's reality and what's fantasy. And this is a fantasy league. It's not a reality league. So, you take a chill pill, dude, but not too many, because then you won't know which is which again. Right, right. the lines are blurred. It's ridiculous. But I do appreciate you putting me number one uh, on your list. I think I do have a good defense. Um, I actually drafted the Rams. Oh, no, I drafted the Rams and the Broncos, you know, because you got to play your matchups. Exactly. So... Uh, you know, I'm projecting to get another point with the Broncos, but with uh, um, what's his name, uh, Antonio Brown, lo- likely being out for the Oakland Raiders, that looks like an even better pickup now because Oakland's got no offense, especially without Antonio Brown. And did you hear about this Antonio Brown guy? I heard he got into a fight with his coach or something, an argument. Oh man, he is a he's a he's a little much. I'll tell you that. So, you know, he, like, you know, wanted to leave San Fran Pittsburgh, and Mm -hmm. they kind of were like, oh, whatever, get rid of this guy. He's a big problem. He goes to Oakland, where he gets paid uh, a lot of money, and this guy is just problems. He won't play because his helmet is no longer safe, says the league, and he will only play with that helmet 
finally, all the saga, the helmet saga stuff is gone, and he misses a practice, so they fine him. He goes on Instagram and says, oh, look, I got fined for not coming to practice. And then he got into a big fight with the GM general manager for the team. And Uh, now they're going to know. Yep. And now uh, it looks like they are either going to suspend him for this game or they're just going to get rid of him. And he hasn't been paid a cent of his like a hundred and hundred and something. Let me see. Some he's got some crazy money coming in. He hasn't been paid a cent of it yet. Ooh. And if they, okay, I guess it's not as much as I thought. Um, they can file a grievance because he hasn't gone to practice. He's a big problem, and they don't have to pay him anything if they win. So, I'm feeling pretty good about the Broncos. Who's your defense? Do you know my defense? Um, you caught me off guard, but it is the Eagles. Okay, now that's a good defense. They're uh, they're solid. Now they'll I, be in the top. Well, I I was just gonna say to your point though, I I don't have a backup defense. Mm-hmm. See, yeah, now that that's something uh, it's good to have because like I don't you don't need how many friggin' bench players do you need really? I don't know. Do I need Pettis as a as a wide receiver? I don't know. <laughs> Clinton Portis? Um, uh, no, Jerome Bettis. Jerome Bettis? I think he's dead. <laughs> I just saw a commercial you... with him. Oh, Dante Pettis? Yeah, that guy sucks. Mm-hmm. I would just take out whoever's the lowest on your uh, owned. So that's... Uh, and I... You know what? I guess it's rostered now. They don't say owned. Because owned is kind of uh, not very cool. Dude, that's to owned. talk about players. Yeah. See. Yeah, that's uh, that's not cool. Hey, everybody. Thanks for listening to the podcast this week. If you'd like to be a part of the show, uh, let me know. We can make it work over Facebook, Skype, uh, Discord is what I use this week. So, uh, yeah, it's cool. I'm cool. I mean, you guys are cool. What, what, what else is there to talk about? I mean, next week there's going to be more football. But uh, otherwise, uh, donate to my Patreon, like, subscribe, smash that like button, and uh, hit me up with trade offers.